This is a song that I wrote a long time ago about just what a nasty business uh, this whole what's it called you know between the Kennedys and Kennedy supporters and the other side Republicans mainly and uh, I gotta tell you man that when I look at and I looked at it very much from a objective point of view uh, I looked at what the anti-Kennedy people the ones who just would call him a disgusting pervert and all that shit you know or a cheater cheated on his wife all the time and I ran across this article by Ted Sorensen his speechwriter and one of his main counselors now this guy lived in the White House okay he lived with the Kennedys and he said I think I would have noticed if women were being snuck in and out of the president's bedroom and he said I the only woman I saw with the president was Caroline Kennedy playing on the floor of the Oval Office and after reading all this shit that the Republicans the right-wing operatives I think that's what you'd call them were writing about Kennedy I was just completely and here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about let me see if I can drag this up so come on you click on things and nothing happens so this is something somebody wrote in the daily news whatever the fuck that is and he calls it and whoever it is won't admit who he is there's no name there's no and then it says that the whole article is paid for <laughs> so um, you know just the name JFK's Camel Camelot Knights okay so let's see what this idiot and he is an idiot and an asshole see what he says about and, and it really I mean I'm no fan of, fan of the Kennedys I thought they were kind of stupid and shouldn't have been in charge of anything but then again in terms of the kind of people we put in the president the White House <laughs> and you know this stuff is fake news just fake totally fake and you know uh, guys like Ronnie Rump uh, will go on and on and on about fake news but never admit that they're the ones who are most guilty of it yeah the Clintons and the establishment Democrats are guilty of it too to a large extent they learned it by watching the Republicans and people like Ronnie Rump I refer to him as Ronnie Rump because he's uh, trying to grab the fake persona which everything's fake about all of them of Ronald Reagan right he's hoping to pull out you know a victory uh, in the media so that even though he's just as, even more of a jerk and a dumbass than Reagan was he hopes to do just like what they've done with Reagan and turn him into some kind of capitalist messiah or something and he would he goes on and on about fake news but this is rampant on the internet look at what this guy says he totally takes everything and tries to twist it around he says JFK's most trusted aide Ted Sorensen so he's taking the good name of a man who's now dead is finally opening up about what he saw at Camelot 43 years after his best sell selling what the hell is a hagography Kennedy Sorensen's figures enough time has passed to write candidly about his beloved 
boss's self-indulgent affairs and the inspiring words he put in the president's mouth. Okay, now, Sorensen's, in whatever he's referring to, Sorensen doesn't refer to he, the uh, President uh, Kennedy having any affairs. So in his new memoirs, memoir, counselor, so I'm going to have to find this. This is probably what I was referring to. 79-year-old Sorensen scoffs at many of the claims about Kennedy's mistress. So right there, not just many. Sorensen, in fact, scoffs at all of the uh, claims about Kennedy's mistresses. Like I said, I told you what he had to say about it. And he lived in the White House, okay? He was there 24-7, 365. And then he puts these words right here into Sorensen's mouth. It's not Sorensen saying this, but he sure makes it sound like it. He says, still he met a few of those who I assumed to have shared his bed. So <laughs> it's like he's saying that he, just because he ran into one of them or, or he's claiming a few. And he says, on the campaign trail, he ran into the infamous Judith Cannell. Campbell Exner and who knows he must be talking about campaign trail for senator because Kennedy he admits right here that he wasn't even married yet and how can he call it cheating if Kennedy wasn't even married yet he says uh, Campbell Exner at the Kennedy's hotel once when then bachelor so he, he admits he's lying right there because if you're going to talk about Kennedy cheating, so so I'm just saying, man, you know, all this stuff that they put out, it's all, I mean, it's really a rudely obnoxious fake news. So Kennedy had to make a speed on the Senate floor. So he's probably running for senator way back when. He has a right to see any woman he wants to, right? He asked Soros to convey his apologies if a certain young lady should call her name was Audrey Hepburn. You're telling me that a famous guy like uh, Kennedy is having an affair with Audrey Hepburn just because he missed her phone call? I'm not going to go through this whole thing. But it's, it's rude and it's obnoxious. It really is. It's absolutely disgusting. A and I don't have any patience for this stuff. That's why I call it a bad, bad business in, in this song. And I'll go out letting you listen to a little bit of this song. I wrote this in, I don't know, 95, 96, 97, somewhere in there. So I'm talking to... People who are under the illusion that of the propaganda, propagandized.
So that place is the truth. So I'm referring to a place where, you know, we get to find out what the truth is, which today is right here because I'm, I'm expressing, you know, this is, these things that I'm talking about now give, represent years of research. Like this goes way back to the beginning of the internet back in 90, in the 90s, early 90s. And uh, before that, I was on bulletin boards in Houston. Back in the mid 80s, I was members of bulletin boards and we used to argue of this stuff. So I just thought I'd mention I have a, a lot of studying gone into all this stuff. Here I'm talking uh, about some of the conspiracy research that I got into. <laughs> Sometimes 